Lex bots. Yes, I look a little strange in this tutorial because I have no eyebrows. In this tutorial, we're going over the next highest requested tutorial, which is Edward Scissorhands. And you guys can vote for which look you want to see next, and I'll put the link for that in the description below. These scissor hands are good for like the Italian thing, you know, like da 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 da. I'm Irish. All the products that you say below said somewhere on the video, and don't forget to go to Facebook and check out my page. Made you look by Lex and like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by lightly covering my eyebrows, and I'm doing this using the washable glue stick method. I'm first combing my brow hairs down, then applying the glue stick to my brows, smoothing it out and letting it dry. I personally also like to clean up the glue around my eyebrows so I don't have excessive glue on my face. So graceful with my hair dryer. Using my fancy plastic knife because I could not find a spatula anywhere. Makeup spatula. I'm then applying a thicker glob of glue, cleaning up the area and letting it dry. In between layers of the thicker glue, I'm also then applying translucent powder. Once the glue is completely dried and I have enough layers on, I'm then applying Celebrate Foundation in the lightest shade. And also applying translucent powder over that. From there, I'm then applying 0.5 Naked Foundation mixed with a little bit of white body paint just with my fingers all over my face. Once again, powder that with translucent powder. Then using the Made You Look Blush Brush and Mehron Blush in Mocha, apply it underneath your cheekbones and heavily buff that out. To give the illusion of a little bit more of a narrow face, I'm then applying bronzer to my jawline. Using the Made You Look Blending Brush, no primer, and the Naked Eyeshadow in Limit, I'm then applying Edward's Eyeshadow. And this shape is basically like a squished sideways teardrop. I'm then going back in only in the corners and the top of the eyeshadow using the color Nooner, as well as darkening it up even more with some dark brown eyeshadow from BH Cosmetics. To create the sunken in scars on Edward's face, I'm then applying Rigid Collidian from Mehron to my lips. This can tear the skin on your lips if you do not take it off with remover. So please have spare gum remover handy if you are applying this to your lips. You just apply it, let it dry, and it basically creates a scar on its own. For all the keloid scars, you're going to want to make sure you have a bit of skin prep on the side and a cup to dip your fingers in. I'm starting off by applying a little bit of spare gum to my first scar. Spare gum is completely optional, you do not need it, but it is helpful. Make sure you tap that to make it tacky and sticky. I'm then applying Mehron's Extra Flush. When working with extra flesh, you're gonna want to have that skin prep on your fingers or else it's going to stick to your fingers and you're gonna have a miserable time. I like to roll it into a worm shape for this particular scar. I'm then taking the back of two makeup brushes also dipped in that skin prep so that way it's not sticking to the actual extra flesh. And smoothing down both sides at the exact same time. Kind of like chopsticks, but for scars. Once you have your scar blended and situated how you want, you then want to apply Fixative A. You're going to repeat the process for all the scars on Edward's face, first applying your spirit gum, then tapping it, applying the extra flush, making sure that you have skin prep on your fingertips, blending it down using the two makeup brushes that are dipped in skin prep, and applying Fixative A. Be sure to use a reference photo of Edward Scissorhands so that way you have the scars in the right places. The closer you are to the actual character, of course, the more accurate it's going to look. Particularly above one of his eyebrows, you're applying it the exact same way but a thicker patch of the extra flesh. Before you apply Fixative A, I'm then cutting into that patch with a makeup brush. Once you have your cut, you can then apply your Fixative A. For my lips, I'm then taking the Made You Look Blending Brush and Nooner from the Naked 3 palette and applying it to my lips. Be sure to powder your scars with translucent powder so that way you don't have these weird shiny scars. For our sunken in cuts, I'm then taking a little bit of Paradise Paint in dark red and filling in the center. For all of our other keloid scars, and then going in with the color Limit from the Naked 3 palette and just kind of going around those scars. Because I don't have a neck piece for Edward's costume, I'm then applying black Graftobian Pro Paint to my neck using the Made You Look Foundation brush. Simply giving it a little bit of highlights using Graftobian Pro Paint in white in the Made You Look Blending brush. 
And then of course painting in the chains using the Mehron Silver Metallic Powder in Mixing Liquid. No scissor thumb. Everything is more dramatic with scissors for hands. Dramatic. This one that cut off. 